We've often heard about the power of the brain and how it controls one's health and of course one's youthfulness. We're here with Dr. Patricia Reyes, a brain expert, if we can call, we can, can I safely say that you are a brain expert and you brought to the Philippines a new technology that will improve one's mood, one's memory. Can you tell us more about it? Yes, yeah, so what it is, is it, this is a, a series of computer-based exercise, brain exercises that have been shown and validated by more than 70 publications, scientific publications been shown that they have been shown to improve brain functions such as memory, comprehension, attention span, speed of processing, balance, coordination, certain skills, and mood. If you master Brain HQ, will it improve your IQ, uh, improve your personality, and also your physical functions? physical strength. Yeah, our studies have shown most of those. We really have not uh, looked at IQ per se, but the components yes. are significantly improved, like memory. Mm -hmm. And this is important because we had a study that showed that if uh, uh, a person is 80, 75 years old and you uh, uh, use this technology, your memory go, improves to when you were 65 years of age. Oh, oh yes. Great. So it improves attention span, concentration, which is very important when you're working in the office at home, when you're driving, for instance. As a matter of fact, we have evidence that it has reduced in senior citizens uh, uh, ac rates of accident by 30 percent. Dr. Reyes, um, do you recommend this program for children with, who have uh, special needs or who have, uh, like you say, neurodiversity. Right. Yes, I, I, I do um, and I think as long as they do not have seizures, okay, they're able to play the computer, okay, they enjoy doing it because this is engaging. You don't want to introduce this if the child doesn't enjoy doing it because you, it's counterproductive. And then finally, does it help people with Alzheimer's? and other mental challenges. Yes, the, the, the studies have shown that patients, the earliest symptoms we believe in Alzheimer's disease is what we call MCI. It stands for mild cognitive impairment. Mild cognitive impairment. Okay, okay. yeah. Which means? Those are patients who come to us and say, Dr. Reyes, I'm forgetting now. I'm no longer the same as before. But they do not have Alzheimer's disease because they're able to drive, can go shopping, mm -hmm. But they have selective problems like memory, particularly for recent events. So with this technology, they have shown that the patient's memory improves significantly.